Okay, so I just want to say this story is 100% absolute true. I cannot stress it enough. Like everything that I'm about to see legit happened. So I don't need nobody in the comment section saying, oh, she is lying. She's just over exaggerating. She's not telling the truth. No, it did happen. I cannot make this up. So anyway, um, I wanted to say this is my freshman or sophomore year of high school. I think it was my sophomore year of high school when this happened. But anyway, so um, one night, I pretty much was, you know, finna get ready for bed. It was nothing new. And, you know, I'm not a person who's afraid of the dark. So <clears throat> going to bed for me is, is just whatever. Like, you know, some people be freaking out because they either, you know, just don't want to go to sleep or they like to keep the lights on. And, you know, going to sleep is not a big deal for me. It's not, you know, extra. But anyway, I was getting ready for bed or whatever. And I lay down and me, I'm not one of those people who like immediately falls asleep when I get into bed. Like I have to, you know, gradually get tired and then fall asleep. So I finally fell asleep after so long. And usually I don't, I don't really watch scary stuff at night, <clears throat> like scary movies or anything like that. I don't watch that stuff at night. You know, I think at the time that this happened, I was actually watching... SpongeBob, I think. Don't ask me why, but I, I I think I was at this time. I know it wasn't nothing scary, but I think it was SpongeBob for a fact. Cause I used to watch that a lot. Even being in high school, I was just like watching it. I don't know. Um, but anyway, like I said, I was getting ready for bed and then I started to get tired. And then I finally fell asleep. Now in the middle of the night, I want to say around 3 o'clock, and it always happens at 3 o'clock. And I've heard some people say that 3 o'clock is like the haunted hour. So, you know, that's when like weird, freaky shit, I mean, ooh, Lord, freaky stuff starts to happen. Y'all, when I tell you I was laying in that bed, and I was laying on my stomach. Now, I was not on my back laying down. I was on my stomach. And you know how, like, you know, you kind of, like, got your arms like this underneath the pillow or whatever. So, that's how I was. So, I'm laying like this. And, you know, my feet is stretched out. And they, they kind of, like, my legs is kind of spread apart, but they stretched out. Y'all, when I tell you something tough at my freaking leg i was so freaking scared and it's like i knew i knew what was happening because i couldn't move but i felt something move me and so i instantly thought about it. i'm like okay there's got to be sleep paralysis but why is it sleep paralysis to this extent because i've had sleep paralysis multiple times before and it came from it would happen every time i would watch something scary um before i go to sleep so that's why i stopped watching scary stuff before it was time for me to go to bed so hence that's why i was watching spongebob to you know keep my mind from that type of stuff and i was you know thinking it wasn't gonna happen because up until this day i had been getting sleep paralysis constantly 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 for that whole entire week and i'm just like what why does this keep happening so i kind of would get scared to go to sleep just a little bit because i'm like okay it's probably going to happen tonight. I don't know. But anyway, y'all, if y'all ever seen that part on um, Paranormal Activity, the first one, when I think it was towards the end. Was it towards the end? I don't know. But I think it was the part when either, either Mika or the girl had like, she was in the bed and then her leg had got pulled out to the side and, you know, she got dragged out the bed. That's what that felt like to me. Like I didn't pull, get pulled all the way out the bed, but I felt a tug at my leg and I got scared like I was going to get pulled out the bed. 
And y'all, when I finally was able to move, like, I immediately got up and I stayed up the whole freaking rest of the night. I was not, I didn't, I did not go back to sleep because I was scared it was going to happen again. Because like I said, I had sleep paralysis before, but not to that extent. Like the first few times, okay, I just couldn't move. Then the next few times it was like, okay, I started seeing black shadows, you know, when it would happen. And then the next time it's like, okay, now I feel like I'm getting pulled out of my bed. So that's when I'm like, okay, it's only getting worse and worse. And I'm getting scared to go to sleep now at this point. And I had already cut out watching horror movies. I had already, you know, started watching kitty stuff at night just to take my mind off of that. So I'm like, why is this happening? Y'all what sleep paralysis is? Because strangely, like a lot of people, they've had it, like they experienced it, but they don't know what it's called. So sleep paralysis is a feeling of being conscious, but unable to move. It occurs when a person passes between stages of wakefulness and sleep. During these transitions, you may be unable to move or speak for a few seconds up to a few minutes. Some people may also feel pressure or a sense of choking. Now, I've felt the pressure and the choking, but this particular time, I've never experienced that feeling of somebody pulling me out my bed. And like, I'll even catch my... After, after that happened to me that night... To this day, this day, I try to sleep on my side as much as I can because I used to get sleep paralysis so much to the point where sleeping on my back, no good. I felt like somebody was on my chest and I could not breathe. And then I did feel like somebody was choking me at one point. And then for me to be sleeping on my stomach, I'm like, this ain't going to work either because now I'm getting pulled out of my bed. So I sleep on my sides now. But I will never forget that day. I will never forget it. And it happened at my mom's house. And so that was the last place I got sleep paralysis. So I, I be feeling like it's something going on in their room. But I'm not going to put that out there. I'm not going to put that type of energy out there. Because I might want to stay at my mom's house just to spend the night with her. And I don't want to be scared. So we're just going to ignore that I just said that. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next video.